la llamé, yo sentía un poco mal, pero no era igual. Stressful in dark places. I was also bullied to not always trust people. My parents are quite strict. Like, you know, sabes qué? Este, creo que hay que hacer un proyecto. Este, algo para la cama. Y no. Cabrón, algo sensual, la bella quiera, la cabrón. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is up, you guys? I need to stop the cussing, but you know, that's my lifestyle. I already said it. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are fucking doing well, and I miss you guys. I'm back on my grind, and I'm trying to be consistent, but I also need you guys to help me too. Smash the like button, the subscribe button, and man, join the fucking family, bro, because literally, like, I'm busting my ass. To make videos because you guys know i'm a busy ass motherfucker i work a regular job on top of that I, i'm gonna start working another one because you know i need to get that money i'm gonna start school and i'm doing youtube for you guys and doing content because we going up month of june this summer is our motherfucking time to shine i didn't explain what we're doing uh we're starting a series called sit down car talk where an individual can have their space and to talk about whatever they want. And I'm inviting a lot of my friends, influencers, artists, everyone that I know that I could think of, I'm inviting them. Without further ado, let's get in the video. And I got a special guest. You guys know that it's personal to me because we've been locked in. We've came through fucking hell, basically. Like, we've had a lot of uh, miscommunication a lot of differences. We've always been united and we always come back together because it's meant to be. I got my fucking brother, Brian Vanuelos. Yo, 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 what the fuck is up, bro? It's my boy, Dead Girl G. Dead, fucking Dead Girl. Dead I real G. I, re I retired that. It's he fine though, it's fine. Name. It's fine, a lot of people get confused that, you know, I switched my name from Dead I Ghetto Real G to Dead I Real G. I feel like people can't get over that, but it's cool because it's my fault. I called myself that first. Yeah, Nobody you else. First. You're my first guest, as you should. You guys would think like Zeno's my first guest, but Zeno's not here no more. Fuck Zeno. Hashtag fuck Zeno down in the comments. <laughs> you know, one time Brian had to come through because you know he's a real one. He's always been there. We've had a lot of ups and downs. We've um, lots of ups and downs. Didn't talk for a while. Almost, almost a fucking year. Almost a fucking. Almost year. a fucking. Mainly due to me, but. We want to give you the space and everything. I want you to feel comfortable. Dale con todo. We're not um, going to talk about, you know, who. Because Brian told me at the beginning, don't talk about the fucking past. Don't talk about losers because I'm not trying to give that pout that to them. You know, I'm not trying to give that clout. Right now, we're just moving forward, you know. Yes, yes. He's, he's like Eladio Carion with the, with the press. Like, you know, hasta ahí. Hasta ahí llegaste. Hasta ahí. We're local in Pasadena and... Pasadena is very important to us. We grew up here. A lot of people know who we are. A lot of people hate us. A lot of people, they support They, they support us low-key and they watch our stuff. We all got a background story. Give us a background on how your childhood was like. How were your parents? It's quite calm, you know? It's not really, it wasn't really much of a troublemaker. I was really a nice kid growing up. Uh, I, I grew up an only child, actually. I have a sister who was by surprise born on my birthday september 5th my parents are quite strict really quite strict but you know what i don't really complain as much because i know that they want the best for me they want to they want me to be in a good place in the future and no 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 the opposite because when i was little a mí me decían me decían me contaban me llevaban a los parques decían que yo me agarraba a putazos con todos los niños y de que they would get into a lot of arguments with parents, you know, say, yeah. We, we met uh seventh grade. No, sixth, no, seventh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Yeah. You came from, what middle school you go to? I went to McKinley in the sixth grade, and then I switched over to Marshall. From the middle. And then, yeah, he went to Marshall. A lot of you guys don't know this. We played in the same soccer team. AC Milan. AC Milan, yep. Uh, it was quite weird because I never thought I was going to be friends like this with him, like, close enough. Because from middle school through high school, we weren't even close. We weren't even 
We never, we never talked. We he hung out with different people. I hung out with different people. Yeah, basically, just high and by, honestly. Yeah, literally, like it's like we knew each other, right? Mm -hmm. But eleventh grade, yo me recuerdo de que cuando yo te dije estamos hablando de Raúl Alejandro, and I low key thought you didn't know shit about reggaeton. <laughs> like tú me parecías un cabrón de esos que le escuchaban música como como rock. Como, sí, como, la like, música, hip hop, como, este, I mean, I do listen to Logic, music, but Logic, well, well, well. Gunna, you know, like, Future, and stuff I mean, like that. We're talking about those type of artists, I usually just listen to, uh, it's either Chris Brown, Drake, Tory Lanez, and Usher, that's about yeah. it. Yeah. Y después, este, yo te fui conociendo con el tiempo, después estamos hablando que tú conocías la canción Detective, from Rao, tú hacías música. One of my favorite songs, Los Días Sin Ti, that was out by that time. Lo que prácticamente nos conectamos, tú pensaste hacer música y por qué? My first memory of music has to be listening to Justin Bieber. You know, he's, ever since I was, cuando yo tenía como, como, no, pues como cinco años, you know, like I love listening to Justin Bieber. I think he's, in my opinion, he's the greatest of all time. And, uh, but no, the reason why that I actually started making music was because, well, of course, it's the Raul Alejandro, you know, uh, back when I used to listen to him, back when he was like underground, underground, I really enjoyed his music and liked his music. And I was like, you know what? Like, maybe I can do this. I mean, I, I clearly love to sing. I think I'm, yo pienso que, como que uno al diez, como ahí, como a siete. Like, I'm not the best. I never claim to be the best, but I know there's people who can sing way better than I can. And no, oh, you know, singing for me is whenever I enter the a studio, well, I have a home studio. I have a studio in my house. Este, como que todos mis problemas, like, se van. Todos esos tres problemas de, of life in general, it just goes away. Incluso dijiste que te ibas a retirar en el, um, <laughs> en el año 2020. Pero 2020. 2020. Yo creo que era el 2020. 2020. La, pandem la pandemia empezó, este, vamos a hablar en español a la gente, en inglés. Yeah, este, yo hablo español, inglés y mucha mierda. Entonces, <laughs> yo me recuerdo de que tú dijiste que te ibas a retirar. Nunca pasó, porque todavía estás aquí. Nunca pasó, yeah. Yo como yo dije que yo iba a renunciar y... Sí, no, pues a quitarte el YouTube, pero nunca... No, no, no me, no me quité esta mierda. Yo me siento, no sé, me hace feliz porque for me, it's like memories that I'm creating, you know? I think that for you, music, you're like, damn, I did all of this. Trabajando con productores oh, yeah. este, de Venezuela, de Colombia. Oh, yeah. um, conociendo gente de Puerto Rico. Y este, tú eras un chamaquito de que jugabas fútbol, que ibas a la escuela... Este niño de, de mami, de papi, y cómo te sientes, cómo adentro que es un logro, no es, no digo que es un gran logro, porque no sé cuál es el gran logro para ti, porque everyone has their standards, you know what I mean? Gente de Ecuador, Colombia, países de Latinoamérica han escuchado de tu música. Y en Spotify, how many, how many countries has your music driven to? Well, I remember este, de lo que yo recuerdo, no, pues de lo que yo puedo. Recordar fue, it was 84 en mi primer este Spotify rap para los artistas. No sé si te recuerdas yeah, eso. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. No sé. Sí. Lo subí ahí What? este por mi Instagram 80, y no. 84, este, 84 yo, countries. Yo estaba bien sorprendido, fíjate. Yo, I was very surprised cuando vi eso. Pero, you know, el próximo año no, no era igual y... Yo sentía un poco mal, pero sabes que este, así es la vida, you know, it's not always going to be ups, it's, there's going to be downs, maybe you're going to be at a consistent, at a consistent flow, pero that's why you should work every day, it's, you know, it's the day to day, it's the sí. día a día, hay que trabajar, hay que, hay que luchar, hay que a poner las pilas y no. Do you feel like that because you didn't make music? And do you think that's why it was so low? My progress wasn't was last year's rap. Yes. And then now you're like, fuck, I'm going to take this L and I'm going to make it teach me a lesson. Yeah. And for and for it to, you know, push me to do more. No, well, yeah, you know, it was definitely a wake up call, you know. It's the, around during that time, that's when I started thinking, 
like, no, ¿sabes qué? Este, creo que hay que hacer un proyecto, you know, like, todavía yo, en ese tiempo, I haven't done it yet, and then, you know, I was like, I'm not a big artist yet. Todavía a ti no estoy grande, yo no soy un gran artista como Bad Bunny, como Rao, como Justin Bieber, como este Drake, Chris Brown, todo eso. Pero, you know, boy, okay. era algo que yo pensaba que yo necesitaba que hacer, y lo hice con, este, con Evolución. Ahí, este, yo trabajé con un, no, pues con un productor ahí, este, ese Drew Mark, este, de Colombia, y no, ese Drew Mark es un duro, la verdad, fíjate que a mí es una leyenda, y no, he made that album perfectly, exactly how I wanted it to sound, exact, and it came out exactly how I thought it would come out, yeah, no, and some of the... The, the best songs of the five was Dejarte Ir, I mean, No Me Llames. I mean, personally, yo pensé que El Palo iba a ser este encerrado. Pero no, you know, este, people have their preferences, you know, I can't control that. Siempre es el tema de un artista que menos desprecia o que dice que no va a llegar. Like, this is the, this is the song that is not going to hit. This is the song that's not going to make it. And that's a song that always makes it. That's a song that always makes it. I don't yeah. know how. No sé cómo, pero... Y, it, and it happens to a lot of artists. And it, ha, and it happens... A todos, a todos le han pasado. A yeah. todos. Yeah. Daddy Yankee, Raul Alejandro, oh. Vicente Fernández, um, Las Bon Armado, you know, e e everyone. Like, Marca Mempe, Beso Pluma. Everyone. Entonces, Drew Mark y Dilo, yo conozco a Dilo. Oh, yo, yeah. lo, yo lo he entrevistado. Yeah, I've done interviews with him. Yeah. It's actually my channel when I used to do interviews like that. Um... They were so cringy. They were so bad. Like, <laughs> no, listen, they weren't. No, those interviews were so bad. The way that they, but the way I would project myself, I'm like, oh my god, I need to take a fucking Spanish class. <laughs> no, because literally, like, <laughs> I, I sucked at Spanish. I sucked at, um, you know, because you have to speak Spanish. Like, no, but like, we're not perfect, you know. Like, tú sientes que tú tienes una una química bien cabrona. Mm -hmm. Este, tú te sientes como trabajar con ellos. A veces cuando están en el estudio, do you guys like FaceTime? And you're like, okay, this is the one, bro, or like. Yeah, definitely. Seguramente. Fíjate que in this new project que va a salir en este verano, este, um, the main producer of this whole project was Dilo. Este, you know, as I said, este, ya trabajé con Jumar con este, con, este, con mi, uh, no, pues con mi primer proyecto, Evolución. And I was like, you know what? Hay que cambiar el flow aquí. Porque el sonido que yo quería, el sound that I wanted was like more, something more pop-wise, you know, something more upbeat. Porque Evolución, it was more kind of, how would I say, como dark, como, ch como, como almost chill. Como, uh, like un poco relajado. Yeah. Pero, yo ya sabía que Dino iba a romper en, um, no, pues en este proyecto porque he does that type of style of music and he produces that type of style of beats. So I'm like, you know what? Look, like I may, you know, he was up for it. He was from the first day that I messaged him, he was down from one to seven. There's seven songs on this project, not five this time. There's seven songs. The topic, but how many songs has he produced for you, Dilo? Dilo? Oh yeah, I remember. He, he, and if you guys, and if you want to name them, go ahead. He produced Noche de Viaquera. I don't know if y'all remember that song. No sé si recuerdan ustedes eso. Pero that was like a more like trap, more un poco sensual, este, algo para la cama y no. Cabrón, algo sensual, la bellaquera, la cabrón. Bellaquera. <laughs> Yo digo que la, cuando estás en la bellaquera tienes tanta adrenalina. En, en el bicho, ¿me entiendes? La bellaquera, la bellaquera. No sé, bellaquera, pero no, you know, este, I also can't leave out the fact that, uh, that, este, Money Rustic, he also had a hand in the song, you know, este, con la letra, me ayudó mucho, y, Flow Wise también. Shout out to Money Rustic, shout, shout out. out. Rustic. Hey, actually, he actually dropped a song today. Fire. Shout out. Um, I didn't hear it because he unfollowed me, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. He unfollowed me a long time ago, so I wouldn't know. Hey, the fact that, hey, I like that. I like that. He's trained. He's trying to dodge. He's trying to dodge the, the drama. He's trying to be like, nope, nope, nope. And now it's happening. Dude, I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like, this is happening. Because yo me recuerdo que estamos hablando cuando tú ibas a lanzar el proceso, este, un album. 
And then that never came no, out. No, nunca pasó. Yo creo que como siempre lo andabas hablando, ya la estabas an anunciando ya por un año. Yeah, ya era tiempo de cambiarlo, cabrón. Ya yeah, era tiempo de and cambiarlo. And that turned into evolution. And then yep. that was what it was. And I hope that this new yep. one turned out to be even greater than evolution. Yeah. Because you know, that's y how I am, you know, always like raising the levels, yeah. trying to outdo myself. Um, unfortunately, a lot of your songs were rated and they were taken away from you and it took you time to componer estas canciones. Do you think that that was a waste of money? That was a waste of time? It happened for a reason? Yeah, I think it definitely happened for a reason. You know, I think that was more like a... Another lesson to be una, taught. You know? Una maldad. The maldad de la gente. And yeah, to not always trust people with... Or or not to give people your full trust, you know, fíjate que... And then, no, and then after that, I just really started to be... Not distant, but, like, not show everyone how I can really be with, like, like if I'm, like, a good friend to you. A buzz like that. But, you know, you know what? It, it, it doesn't really bother me. Because now, honestly, looking back at it, that, that happened like what, like two or three years ago. I'm not really tripping about it. Because now the, el tipo de música que yo tengo hoy es mucho más mejor que en aquel tiempo. Yeah. You know, like who are they now? Cabrón, ¿qué pasó con la Stephanie, cabrón? Nah, I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm just like. I'm... What do you look into a female? ¿Te gustan la, gusta las blanquitas que se, que se parecen a Perico? Te gustan las morenitas o te gusta la personalidad. Yo sé que mucha gente dice esto, pero like I know a lot of people say this, pero if I feel like que hay, que hay algo ahí, well then, no, pues dale, you know, I mean I'll try, pero if she backs off, you know she backs off. That just means that she's not the one, you know. Just, she's not for me. And then maybe you know, como dice el dicho, siempre va a haber este pescado en el mar. But there's always fish in the in the sea, you know. Just because, yeah. porque te fallaste con una, doesn't mean that you're gonna okay, no fail dio. with someone else. Yo pienso de que panocha y y tetas, todo eso sobra. Y sin las putas, este mundo no estaría donde está hoy. I love putas y las putas son las más finas. It doesn't really matter where you're from, who you are, and if. If there's something there, then I like, get yeah, maybe we should follow it, you know? Um, somos o no somos. But no, yeah. yeah, you know, love is something that you can't really force to have. Y ya esto que estamos hablando de amor. ¿Por qué hablas tanto de amor en tus canciones? No eres de, 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 de mujeriego, no eres de, de muchas relaciones en que me has platicado. No. I had a girlfriend, but it doesn't really count because. It didn't really last time. I mean, no, but no. I mean, that was back in what? We were both in the fucking seventh grade. Bro, but it, I feel like you can really have a count, girlfriend bro. if you wanted to. I, you just gotta I, put I, yourself I out there. I honestly could have one if I wanted to. Like, right now, it's you just, just that I just don't want to right now. You just don't put yourself out there. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it's the... I could have one. You know, you're a good-looking guy. You I know? Huh? I don't think so. All right, I said what I said. I'm not, I'm not gonna take it back. And if you did, bro, oof. Fuck. Lo que cayera, wey. Cayera pinche manjar. Pinches calzones de, del pinche cielos. What are the struggles about being a local artist, a small local artist? In the past, in our interviews, you've talked about how it's hard for people to support you. They're only there with you when, when it's popular to be around you, when it's popular to support you. Not when you're starting and you need that support there in that instant but when it's convenient it was pretty underwhelming back when i first started but then again you know looking back see i now see why i got as much attention as i did then mostly because back then my music wasn't all that it wasn't at where i think it is now i think right now i'm at a way different level than what i was back when i began but you know it doesn't really bother me knowing that not everyone is on my train because you know at the end of the day not everyone's gonna be on your train you know i mean i mean every, again everyone has their preferences you know not everyone likes the or maybe it's because it's i'm the one that's doing it 
maybe if someone else were to do the uh, like the style and the style of music that I do, maybe maybe the attention would would be much greater. But no, you know what? I'm not really trying to. I'm trying to expand. You know, I'm not really trying to be known here. I'm trying. Like I want my music as much how every other artist wants their music. I want my music to be heard globally. You know, not just in like one place. Because then I feel like you start to get bored afterwards. Yeah. And then knowing that Understand. like it's a sentimiento que oh bro like mi canción it's it's getting heard over there in Colombia oh it's over there in PR España yeah, bro like, like a... that feeling is is. Um. For me, it's that's what just, sparks a light in you. That just sparks a flame in you, mm -hmm. and you start to want more and more and more. Yeah, and yeah, you know what? Like when people are listening to that song naturally. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's my target. Yeah. you know, be being a global artist rather than locally. Yeah, for me, in my position and my position, it's it's especially with the type of music that I do, it's hard. It's it's hard out here. Because not everyone does. There's times no. where I think that I'm the only one doing it. In the beginning, you would tell me that people would bully you. But that being said, it's true. People, regardless, are going to bully you. and There's bullies everywhere. But they're going to criticize you. They are set off in that mindset where, oh, I'm not going to do this because people think this about me. Or people are going to say this. But that's the thing. People are always going to talk. And if you really put two to two together, people aren't going to be there when you are struggling in life. People are not going to be there to comfort you. Yeah. People are not going to be there to take care of you, pay for your bills. You know, a mantenerte, güey. No te van a dar de comer. Uno tiene que salir y pelear por su propio pellejo. Vale verga, vale verga lo que, lo que dice la gente. Yo voy a decirlo esto públicamente. Mucha gente apoya a porque yo, yo soy sincero. I, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being for real. But they have a reason to, because he's yes, hard. He, yes, he goes hard, bro. Yes, yes. I'm a big fan of him. And he's a good guy, humble guy. And very I, humble guy. And, very, and, very humble guy. and I'm there. I'm there for him, too. But why is it that a lot of people support him? It's because not only that, but he was popular before even becoming an artist. It's popular just to... to talk about him so now that he's becoming an artist and a lot of his people are loyal to him they're like okay you know what let's follow mucha gente cuando él salió no seguía no seguía quería tirar 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 porque él tenía otros planes él tenía otro camino we need to fucking go ham and ham and to everything not ham and ham like you know fucking like each other but like ham and ham <laughs> You know, saying saying the truth. You've gotten criticized how tu música, when tu cantas, nobody understands it. They can't understand the words. What do you have to say to people que se tienen esa idea y escuchan una canción o han tenido ese pensamiento? Like, it's like rushed or it's like mumbled. It's not going to happen to every artist, but to someone that's new going into the industry that's always gonna happen you know not everyone is gonna start off with a fucking banger like with a hit like you know overnight success doesn't really happen every day you know that's the there's there's always beginnings and then you grow from that and i feel like i've really grown a lot from from back when i started which was back i think was 20 19 2020 and i feel like those were my my beginning fear think my beginning years were the hardest they were the hardest because I was trying to find my style of voice that I'm trying to do. And I feel like I really found that. Encontré eso with this new project that I have. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and honestly, fíjate, I could have done any other type of music genre. But but I chose El Geno Urbano because that's something that I grew up with. I love that type of music. I really, really adore it. It's just me. And maybe one day if I were to to switch up the flow, maybe I would go again, like I said, maybe something like Charlie Poof, Justin Bieber, Shawn Mendes, because then again, those were the artists I grew up listening to and admiring as a yeah. kid and in my high school years. He does it. And he's fucking going viral, like global. Mm -hmm. Viral, yeah. Sensational movie. You know what I mean? Red carpet. <laughs> Have you ever been 
in dark places in your life where you couldn't find a solution and it was just tormenting you? High school years for some people can be really stressful and dark places for like, I wasn't the the best known person in high school. I was also, I'd say bullied in high school, but you know what? I'm here today. You know, I didn't stop. That didn't stop me from wanting to do what I wanted to do. And I, and I still do it today. And I feel like now, I feel like I have more freedom. Because, like, just imagine if I was to, if I was to, uh, uh, like, still go to high school. Mm -hmm. Doing music still. Like, imagine, like, the amount of people that would be like, oh, bro, I got that Brian. Este, en la noche, bro, like, fucking playing your evolution. Song, playing your songs no, in class. No, yeah, freaking blasting my songs in class. <laughs> which they not, would, which they which would. They yeah, no, no, not they because, were just clowning. But not because they thought that they, but not because that they liked it, because they knew that, oh, like, let's play this and, and like, maybe we'll get, like, a reaction. Piss them off. Yeah, piss them off. Which is what would happen. But you know, nowadays, I feel like I'm, I'm no, a bit more... Because I remember one time I was, like was going to play one of his songs. Brother. But I wasn't trying to piss him off. I was just trying to like, okay, like, let's play one of your songs. Yeah. And he's like, turn that shit off. Turn that shit off. I'm like, bro, but why? Like, well, it's because, bro, it's your it, music. It, it's because obviously, again, back when I first started... I was, you didn't like that type of attention. I like, was fucking ass, bro. Yeah, was, you didn't like that type of attention. fucking trash, bro. And now I feel like I'm way better now. I feel like I'm at a better level again i think i'm at a better level now than what i was before and i'm more confident in my music now and my music i'm still let's turn it around to the man himself the man interviewing the man that has 80 almost almost 100 videos on youtube now Sorry, congratulations almost almost 100, almost. Uh, almost 100. And we're on the road to and we're on the road to 1k a lot of people i want to see what i want to see what people think about it because my boy Brian, now que lo tengo aquí, él va a decirlo. What do you think about Real G partying every weekend, okay. getting drunk? Oh, yeah. Um, what do you think? Because on social media, you see it a lot. Yes, I see it a lot. Especially on Snapchat. You like to upload that a lo pendejo, bro. Like. <laughs> Oh, it's because you haven't experienced it yet. You haven't been there yet. But it's because it's I, I just can't really see myself drinking, fucking perreando todo eso, fucking con las nenas ahí. Pero tú decías freaking, eso antes. Freaking tomando los pendejos ahí, bro. Freaking getting fucked up, like, bro. It, it, it's because... And you were doing it uh, not too long ago. Yeah, but then again, like, not looking back at it, I, I was like, bro, like, what the fuck was I doing there, bro? Like, I was making an Okay, myself. bro. <laughs> but no, I mean, you know what? Bro, it wasn't even... Yeah, bro, I didn't even yeah, go to a club. Yeah, but back to the actual question. It's the... I, I feel like you should calm down a bit. Maybe not stop, like, completely. Because I... Because... Because clearly you love to uh, go party and club every Saturday. <laughs> okay? And get fucked up. That's what you like doing. But I feel like, honestly, bro, like... You should kind of, like... Just, like, pause. You know, like... Take a chill pill. Have, like, a rest day. Like as if it was a gym. Back. It's hard. No, it's hard though because like, fuck, bro. La vida es un desmadre. Like you want to go fucking party, get us salir, disfrutar. You know, what I mean, you're young, only once. You know, but yeah, I've been calming down. My mom got on my shit already. Now, nah, but um, she was kind of mad because of my cousin's graduation party. Uh, that's my method: tomar agua, eat bread, all that stuff, eat. And you're fucking good. You de baja la pedia y todo. Like, you're fucking good. My auntie said she was driving. So I was like, all right, girl, you driving? And I was going, pop, 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 You're going pop, crazy. Pop. You're going ahead. Thank you for watching. Dude, this was a long interview, deep interview. I feel like it got our expressions and everything got out there. Thank you so much, Brian, for um, for coming through. Um, just briefly, I don't think I'm handsome enough. Like, they don't listen to me. So can you tell them, like, you know, to subscribe, you know? Like, one time. Gente. I guess what's good, read. Subscribe to my homie, my brother, Dela Real G, his channel. He's almost, I think you passed 500, no? Or are you almost there? I'm I'm at 550. Yeah, 500. Get him to 1,000 by the end of the year. That That's the goal, to get to 1K subscribers by the end of the year. That's the, yeah. that's the sub count. That, that is the yeah. sub goal. And yeah.
Thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah, I, no it problem. Was, I very much appreciated it. It's the, no, I hope that we do more in the future. Of course, man, of course. We should go in for a kiss. I broke, or I start stroking my shit right now. So, now I'm just playing. Hey, hey, let me turn off the camera real quick, or else this is gonna be uploaded in a different app. Like, comment, share, subscribe, join the family, and watch all my fucking vlogs, concert. Real G's doing everything, and I'm only doing it for you guys. <laughs> Thank you.